Pachi Paws. This is so adorable. This Katarina forest along the beach is planted for a purpose. They help to preserve the shoreline. They have always been there ever since I have visited this beach as a kid. Small blocks of these forests are occasionally auctioned off uh, so that their wood can be used by the contractor. This is a multi-purpose beach. Also find lots of young couple having their pre-wedding shoots right here. The beautiful beach lends to aesthetic photographs that can be cherished forever. Very interesting. Oh wow! Let me have some fun. I'm going to give the Titanic pose. Look in abandoned boat. Oh dear, the owner of the boat. Here she is. This couple owns this boat which is stranded on this Nagol beach. They are waiting for the high tide so they can take the boat back into the sea. The man had a very interesting story to tell us. Earlier, this was the boat he used this boat to fish. One day, he got lucky. He found a pod of lobsters which he sold for a fortune and was able to purchase this boat. And I always believe fortune favors those who work very hard and bought this new boat. His children have received education and their life is set. So there's a beautiful ICAC school right in the heart of Nargol. It's a boarding school. It's a great place for people to put their kids in because not only value education you are focusing on, but also there is proximity to nature. So it's yeah, a yeah. Place human, for the human consciousness. Right. And also integral education. Right. The priority of man of the education. Okay. And this all campus is running from 1961. And uh, the old person of this Nargol community uh, most of Parsi community donated this uh, beautiful land, 17 acre land. 17 acre land is treated by a Parsi church. This is a textbook wala education. This is a life learning or still on hand wala education. Yeah. Yeah. All round the place. Yeah. This is a desk. This is a desk. So now we are entering the holy town of Udwara, where the sacred Iransha is located. And here, I get tempted again. On a hot summer day, very refreshing. 
if you are visiting Udwada, it is a must to try this handmade ice cream. This is the sacred Iran Shah Atash Behra, the holiest of holy for the Parsi Zoroastrian community. Only Parsis and Zoroastrian Iranis are allowed in the sacred temple. Taking inspiration from Persian architecture, this Atash Behram is very aesthetically designed. Look how majestic it is. This is Irancha from the other side. I can't keep my eyes away from its majestic beauty. You are likely to meet somebody you know. I always find it exciting to meet you people. Uh, I'm meeting some wonderful friends of Shenaspri and all of my own. Syrian and everybody. Syrian and everybody. It's a small place. Yes. I know. Especially for Parsis. <laughs> when you said Nagpur, I just said Shenaspri. Yes. It's a small place. I know. Shenaspri. Okay. Oh, okay. connected to you. God bless. All the very best. Bye bye. Look at these beautiful houses. They are so quaint and they have an old world charm. These houses have been here for many years. Luckily, these houses have remained untouched by modernization. Walking in these narrow streets reminds me of a bygone era. I think this is a baobab tree. Baobab tree, the bottle tree? Another landmark in Udwada, the Pandol Akyari. Uh, when I had first come here as a kid, it had just newly opened and everyone was talking about its structure and that there's a new Agyari in uh, Udwada. But now it's not so new and I'm not so young, but this is the Pandora Agyari. I'm feeling so nostalgic. While in Udwada, please pay attention to this request. Let us have a word with people living in Udwada. Over the years, this man has seen many changes in Udwada. He claims some of the changes are for better. For instance, now things are easily available in Udwada. And you don't have to travel very far to get any provisions. But unfortunately, this change has come at the cost of originality of this town. The simplicity of village life is gone. Earlier, people used to come to Udwara and stay for months, and it used to be very lively. Now people only come for a flying visit. Most of these visits are only for a day to the holy town. This journey has been very enlightening and has enriched me with knowledge about my Parsi roots.